Just relax. You're safe. I want you to go where I've been, or see the things I've seen. I know I've let you down. Maybe we can be together again. But for now, I'm sorry. Washington Irving wrote, there is a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief. Today our tears are for Emily. We mourn a young life ended far too soon. We mourn the things we never said could have said, because we never had the chance to say goodbye. I just thought if it ever came to it, she'd say something. I know. Do you think she blames us? Maybe. Thank you both for coming today. I'm sure it would have meant so much to Emily. She meant so much to us. Yeah. Christina, I was wondering if you could do something for me. Of course. The pendant Emily wore, it was one my mother gave to me. I wanted to be sure it was safe. I can't face going back there. Of course. I was just wondering. I will get it. That way.
18th of May. Now that the clinic is closing, I'm going to have to see one of the counsellors privately. Her name is Dominique. She sees people at home in the town. I'm glad to leave. There's something quite dark about this place, and I just feel pity for some of the people I've met. The school said I can take as much time as I need to recover from this, but I don't believe them. I can't afford to lose that job. I'm pretending that I'm better than I am. I just can't shake off that feeling of shadows following me. I feel in danger, as though my life's going to end. I tell people that I'm okay, but when I close my eyes, all I see is black clouds around me. I just feel so empty inside. How much longer will I have to wear this mask? First of May. I'm so scared. I found out something about the girl who went missing from the clinic. I don't want to believe it. I can't write it down. Twenty-ninth of May. The darkness is all around me. I can't tell anyone about this. I wouldn't know what to say. I have to be people now. I feel like I'm being followed. Don't tell me you're going tomorrow. I can't stick around here. I need to get back. Come on, I haven't seen you for ages. <sighs> Maybe I can get my flat for another few days. I'm not promising anything. Great. I knew you would. I just want us to remember Emily together.
You're not who I was expecting. I'm Christina. Of course. Why don't you come in? Why don't we start with why you're here? Uh, I'm sorry, Dominique. I'm not here to be a patient. I just wanted to ask you a few questions. I call the people who come to see me, Christina. Clients. Patients. Sounds as if you're not getting out of here. <laughs> um, I just don't need any help like that. Okay. What do you want to talk about? My friend Emily died recently. Yes, I heard about that. I'm sorry you've had to have that experience. It must be very troubling for you. She mentioned you in a journal that she kept? I'm sure she did. I encouraged her to keep a diary of her treatment. Please, I really need some answers. Maybe it would be better if we talk about your feelings about this. You could tell me what's troubling you? Um. And not like this. It would be more helpful if you could uh, be in a more relaxed state of mind. <laughs> what? Close your eyes and listen carefully to my voice. Oh, come on, Christina, you need to trust me. I want you to go to your deeper place. Wait. Think of your calm, safe place. Go there, in your mind, now. Oh, come on, Christina, you need to trust me more. scared you recently. You need to trust me. What has scared you recently? I saw a ghost. Do you believe in ghosts? No. It's alright not to be sure. 
They are, after all, just a figment of our imaginations. Representations of our anxieties and guilt. Our minds see what they want us to see. Do you believe in the afterlife? No. Do you believe in carrying on when everything else looks hopeless? I'm not sure. Tell me about your relationship with your parents. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to get that. It's a prearranged call from one of my clients. Please, wait here. I shouldn't be long. Voilà. Peut-être plus tard, après, oui. Patience. Beaucoup de patience. Christine.
I'm sorry, I was just trying to find a bathroom. Of course. I should have shown you where it was. What was I thinking? Thank you. Thank you for your help. Oh, this is just the start for you. I hope you'll come and see me again. You're an interesting girl, Christina. It would be a shame to see you hurt by this. If you want more information about your friend and her treatment, you should go and see Alexander. He was heavily involved at the clinic because of his medical background. I'll give you his address. Looking for me? Ooh, uh, um, no, no. It looked like you were. What do you want? Well, I was, uh, I, I, I was friends with Emily. <laughs> What's your name? My name. My, my name's <clears throat> Jack. Jack. Mm hmm. She never mentioned a Jack. Well, we, we were friends at the clinic. Oh. Well, why didn't you say? Um... Thank you. <clears throat> so, how do you know Emily? Well, uh... We first met in the clinic. <laughs> I'd, uh, never really met her before that, but, um... But she was so warm, you know. Never judged anybody. I oh, know. No. I think somebody killed her. Look at this, this map. These, these red dots symbolise all the girls who have gone missing in the area in the last 15 years or so. Jack, not everyone that goes missing winds up dead. And Emily didn't go missing. That's true. There's something connecting these girls. I know it. Look at the pattern, they all go in a circle. And look what's here in the middle. It's, it's us, right in the center. Whoever is doing this is hunting from inside the village. Well, have you got anything else? 
Yeah. There's been sightings of a man in a mask chasing girls through the woods at night. Thank you for the drink. <laughs> Let me know sometime if you uh, want to talk about what really happened, uh, OK? Uh, Jack. Uh, if you're disruptive again like that, you will be suspended. Have nothing to do with me. I don't know why I'm always the one who's getting told off. I don't want to see you in my office again. If I do, I'm going to get very cross with you. What do? <laughs> <laughs> ah, all girls to see me. Headmaster. William, please. I understand you wanted to discuss Emily. I'm sure you can appreciate this all came as quite a shock to us. Yes, quite out of the blue. A terrible shock for the school and all the pupils in Emily's classes. You don't seem very bothered that a member of your staff took their own life. I was a headmaster, not a psychiatrist. <laughs> Besides, where were you? You were her friends. I think we're all getting a bit emotional here. Maybe we should go. What an absolute dick. Don't know how she could have put up with him. Well, she probably had to. We know she couldn't be too far from home. That job must have been hell for Emily. Yeah. Oh God, I hate those things. So morbid. Huh? What are the chances, huh? <sighs> yeah. Hello, Alexander? Yes, what do you want? I believe I met a colleague of yours today, Dominique. She mentioned to me that you worked at the clinic. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. Very well, come in. Thank you. This is my friend Emily. She passed away recently. Yes. I was at the clinic when your friend was there, but purely in an advisory capacity. I uh, couldn't comment on her treatment. Why did the clinic close? A series of patients ran away from the clinic. Some, sadly, took their own lives. I found this photo amongst my friend's belongings. Do you recognize her? No. 
No, I have no idea, sorry. It's been very nice to meet you. I do hope we'll meet again. I have very few people round since my wife died. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, well, some years ago now. and Well, she died of an inherited condition. One could only hope that there will be medical advancements in that field one day. Anyway, it's been lovely to meet you. Anybody here?
You let me down, Christina. I'll be waiting. What's your game? You shouldn't be here. This is a closed site. And what did you think you were doing wandering about like that? If I was a patient here, I just wanted to see it for myself. I don't think so. Well, this place has been closed more than 20 years. No. She was here two years ago. They moved all the mental stuff to some other place. So, suppose I told you I believed you about the man in the mask.
Have you seen it? I told you it was real. What else do you know about him? Um, I know that there was a girl who survived an attack from him. And where was this? Uh, about 15 miles from here. Yeah, her, her family were camping at the site in the woods and um, one night she saw a man in a mask in, uh, in the bushes. She told her parents, obviously, but they thought she was imagining things, of course. Did anything happen to her? Uh, yeah, he knocked her out and tried to inject something into her neck. How did they know this? Because somebody disturbed them. Who? Well, the papers said it was hikers, but really it was just an innocent couple looking for a quiet place to have. Was this the only sighting? Two years after that, there was a sighting of a, a man in a mask taking photos of a girl at a holiday park about eight miles from there. How well do you know Dominique from the clinic? <clears throat> um, uh, a bit. Why? I want to play this video, but it's password protected. How am I supposed to know that? Where did she like to go on holiday? Well, she, she did go on holiday to Switzerland one time, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe something else. Yeah, she was, um, she was a big fan of Gung. Gung? Yeah, you know, like the, uh, the psychiatrist guy from, from Switzerland. Jung. Carl Jung. Yeah, that's what I said, Jung. Anyway, um, she used to have a picture of him on the wall and she'd always say, Jung says this about your subconscious mind, blah, blah, blah. What is it anyway? Tell me more about those feelings about the anger and how you want to express it. I want to make them pay for the way they've made me feel. I want to hurt them for what they've done. Who's this girl? Her name's Sarah. She's vile. She was such a bitch to me when she found out I'd been in the clinic. Tell me more about that. I want to cut them down. See them begging for mercy. Until they admit how beautiful I am. I think that emotion is very powerful, Sarah. And you must remember that your power can make you whole. By exercising control over people, you can heal yourself of all your problems. I already did that. When was this? Three months ago. There was a girl who came under my control. And I wanted to make it last. But she went too quick. 
quickly. <laughs> I can still hear her. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And the thing that will make you laugh the most is that she works as a vet. Really? Imagine her looking after your dog. Oh. Tell me more about those feelings. About the anger and how you want to express it. I want to make them pay for the way they've made me feel. I want to hurt them for what they've done. Tell me more about that. I want to cut them down. See them begging for mercy. Until they admit how beautiful I am. I think that emotion is very powerful, Sarah. And you must remember that your power can make you whole. By exercising control over people, you can heal yourself of all your problems. I already did that. When was this? Three months ago. There was a girl who came under my control. And I wanted to make it last. But she went too quickly. I can still hear her. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Does a Sarah work here? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hi. Let me guess. King Charles. <laughs> you look like a dog person. I'm usually spot on guessing people's pets. Uh, no, I don't have any animals. Okay. So what do you want then? I actually just wanted to know if you knew a friend of mine. She passed away recently. Oh yeah. I'd better make sure we're not interrupted then. So, who was she? She was a teacher at the school. Ah, oh, yes. Wasn't she the one who killed herself? Yes. Yes, she... She hung herself, didn't she? I'm not really interested in going into the details with you. So... Which do you think it was? Asphyxia? Or a broken neck? to be a good reason why this door was locked. Sarah, why don't you take your lunch while I deal with this customer?
I do apologize for my colleague. She has been going through a tough time recently. How may I help you? Actually, I was here to see Sarah. She's been seeing the same psychiatrist as a friend of mine who passed away recently. Sarah has mentioned that she was seeing someone, a counsellor of sorts. Has she been seeing anyone else? Only a tutor from med school. She's retraining in human anatomy, apparently. I don't really know the details. Do you know what her tutor's name is? William, I believe. She calls him a tutor, but I'm not convinced. Thank you for your help. Oh, no problem at all. doing going around accusing people of all sorts. I don't know who's been filling your head with this rubbish, but it has to stop. I will do what I want. What do you think you're doing? I want this photo so I can pass it on. If you keep causing trouble around here, How did you know where you were staying? I have no idea. Somehow I'm not surprised. I've felt that someone's been watching me. Maybe we should pay him a visit. You know, return the favor. You know where he lives? Just through here. This is an especially nice house, even for a headmaster. Yeah, I wonder where he gets his money from. I think he's going. Maybe try and find an open window. <laughs> or smash one. check upstairs. I guess. We don't really know what we're looking for. It must be something here. Could be anything.
Jack! I found something! Let's get out of here. I need to tell Alexandra about this. What? Why? Well, maybe he knows something. We can't tell him. Why not? Because... because... because we just broke into that guy's house, that's why. So? But, uh, fine, you tell him. But maybe it's best if I don't come with you. Fine, I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. Alexander, I really need to... Do you play chess? Yes, but I don't have time for that right now. Oh, come on. Just the one game. I so rarely get the chance to play anybody nowadays. OK, but I do really need to tell you about... You really are in a rush, aren't you, Christina? Yes, it's just because I found... It's just I'm... I'm worried about William. Emily's headmaster. Well, he's a good man. In fact, I organised a fundraising for his school last year. Well, I don't think he is who he appears to be. Really? I have reason to believe that he and Sarah, the vet from the village, have something to do with the disappearances in the area. Oh. Look, I'm so sorry, Christina, I, but I do know just how the death of someone close to you can be a terrible shock, but. That really is a bit far-fetched. I really don't think so. You have to trust me on this. Does anybody else think the way you do? Yes, Jack, the boy from the village. <laughs> oh, Jack, yes. Yes, I know Jack from his time at the clinic. He's a, he's a kindly boy, but... A bit of a fantasist. I'm sure he makes up stories about me all the time. You do know that it's quite common for a patient to construct an elaborate fantasy, whereby the people who are caring for them are evil. Could I use your bathroom? Yes, yes, of course. It's through the door up the stairs. Thank you. You won't beat me, you know. Surgical guns? Why would you keep these at home?
What on earth do you think you're doing here? She might not have been on her own. I told you they were asking questions. We should have done this sooner. I bought everything that we need. I'll make sure you don't get the dosage wrong. I don't want her damaged like the last one. Where is she anyway? Upstairs. We'll wait here. Christina? Christina, could you come down? you something. I'm in a bad situation and I really need your help. Christina, I know it's been hard after she died, but we are here for you. No, you don't understand. I'm in trouble. Now, please come help me. Look, I'm sorry, Chris. I can't talk about this now. <laughs> please don't hang up. I won't, Christina. What? What do you want? What do you want? I want to know what happened to my friend. No! Christina! Charlotte! <laughs> Charlotte! <laughs> the answers you want are at the clinic. Come alone. This is a journey you have to take on your own. Please don't hurt her!
Charlotte. No, Charlotte, listen to me. 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 No,
I know you feel bad about this now. But it really is for the greater good. The greater good? How is this good? Your friend will save countless lives. A living organ donor. There are so many in need. Oh, like hell you care about people. This is just a lucrative business for you. Well, yes, that's true. The body is worth a surprising amount of money. <laughs> is this how many died? Now, unfortunately, Emily took too close an interest in our activities here. Not wanting to end her life like this, uh, she chose a different way. You bastard! How can you live with yourself? I told you I always win. Don't worry, it'll soon be over for you, you little bitch. It won't be long for you now.
There's only supposed to be one. We don't know anything about a second bill. I can assure you, your employer will be very pleased with her. She's very healthy. Well, you'd better go and speak to her, hadn't you? Very well.
waiting. I believe we're making progress here. This is as close as we've come in any of our sessions so far, but we still have a way to go. In my mind, that's what happened. Oh, well, the sedatives will do that, but it also shows that we are getting closer. Think about it carefully, Christina. I know your thoughts will be very confused by the drugs that they gave you, but it is important that you remember. What about the suicide? Oh, that's obviously a reflection of your own feelings of self-harm following the incident. Why did I see a ghost pursuing me? Well, ghosts can often represent unresolved feelings. In your case, guilt over Charlotte, pursuing you in a different form. <laughs> I must say, I'm a little disappointed of your lack of faith in me, but I have come to expect a certain level of antagonism from anybody who comes into this room especially someone with such troubling feelings to recall. Now, shall we try again? Just settle. 
compose your thoughts. Listen to my voice. When I count down to one, you will be back in the deep recesses of your mind where all your thoughts will be clear. Three, two, one. Marriage consists of entrusting ourselves into the deepest care of another. It is a Don't sacred trust. <laughs> Today is no. also an opportunity for us to not only share wish it was you. in the joy of Emily and Sam's love, but to also remember and appreciate the joy, love and friendship that we experience in our own lives. But more importantly, it is a journey that they will take together. Wondering what you want to go with some rocks last night. Where could we worth going in this one horse town? Besides, I'm feeling a bit weird. I think I'm going to go home. Come on, I've been so bored. Nothing interesting seems to happen to me anymore. I don't know. Let's just go and get a drink. Are you sure about this? Yes. yes. What, what yes. possibly go wrong? Go wrong. wrong. <laughs> Thank you. 
Looks like she's got more fight in her. Can't take both. Fuck you! You need to let us go now! <laughs> We're gonna take one of you with us, so who's it gonna be? Yeah, fuck you. We're not going anywhere! has to be one of you. Don't go. You have to get us out of this. <laughs> Take her. What? No! Charlotte, no! Charlotte, no! Charlotte, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's not really how it happened. Is it, Christina? It's okay. It's okay. I swear. No. Christina! No! 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 That's not really how it happened. Is it, Christina? It's okay. It's okay. I swear. No. Christina! No! 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 No!
That's not really how it happened, is it, Christina? That's not really how it happened, is it, Christina? That's not really how it happened, is it, Christina?
Three, two, one. <laughs> Christina, you're back. It's all right, Christina, you're quite safe. <laughs> what else could you have done? I should have done more. You did? what she would want you to do. You got away, alive. If she were here now, she would tell you simply to live your life, free of all this guilt. I don't know what she would have thought. No, but you knew her. Do you really think she would want you to carry around all this all your life? You've done so well today. This is a real breakthrough. It's taken us days to get this far. You should be feeling very proud of yourself. And that fire? Yes, I admit that's troubling. But you have to remember that she would have passed away before they started it. I just can't believe she's really... Hi Christina, it's Emily. I know you don't want to talk at the moment, but I wanted to let you know that I'm thinking of you. Everything that's happened has been difficult, but it looks like you're ready to finish your therapy. You seem to see everything as a manipulation, that everybody's trying to get you, but I want you to know that life isn't just full of horrors. I can understand why you'd feel that way though. Having said all that, I really think you got through this because you're a good-hearted person. Some people might say you should protect yourself more, but I like you the way you are. I like that you're loyal, you're protective of your friends, and that you're not afraid to show your emotions. I'm looking forward.